Hi everyone, this is Laura. Thank you for watching our Wildlife Wednesday. This week I want to highlight a video I filmed of a coyote hunting for a winter trumpeter swan. For some of our viewers, this might be difficult to watch. I totally understand, but as a naturalist, I want to highlight the relationship between a predator and its prey. And for a coyote, a trumpeter swan might be a really important meal in a long, hard Jackson Hole winter. Coyotes are omnivores, so they'll eat both plants and animals. I sometimes make up words. I call them opportunivores because they'll take the opportunity to eat whatever they can find. One of their favorite foods are rodents, such as mice, gophers, voles, or ground squirrels. They'll eat insects and grasshoppers. Sometimes they'll also hunt fawns, such as mule deer, white-tailed deer, or pronghorn fawns in the springtime. They'll eat eggs from ground nesting birds if those are available or accessible to the coyote. <clears throat> but in this case, our coyote targeted uh, a young trumpeter swan, which we call a cygnet. Trumpeter swans are North America's largest waterfowl. An adult trumpeter can be up to six feet long and can weigh between 20 to 30 pounds. I think the swan that was targeted by the coyote in my video was a youngster or a cygnet. I could tell because his feathers were a grayish white color instead of the bleach white feathers of an adult. Trumpeter swans in the winter usually congregate around areas with holes in the ice where they can still tip their butts in the air and eat aquatic plants off of the bottom. A group of swans is known as a ballet, a regatta, or a drift of swans. <laughs> Those are all really cool names. <laughs> but our coyote was quite bold in descending down onto thin ice to a place where he could grab a, a cygnet off the water. Of course, swans can be extremely defensive, just like Canada geese. They'll hiss they'll bite, they'll flap their big 10 foot wings, or even scratch at a predator to defend themselves or their young. <laughs> you know, they did put up quite a fight, but that coyote was too fast, too swift. He was able to snag a cygnet and make off with it. As you can see in my video, the snow was quite deep. The coyote had a hard time hopping through deep snow, carrying a heavy trumpeter swan. <laughs> but for the coyote, this might have meant life or death. This might have been his only meal this week. So he was able to carry that trumpeter swan off into the forest and have a nice winter time meal. <laughs> So thank you for watching. 